Hey guys, Stealth here. Um, a bit of a warning before you watch this video. Uh, this is a, well, as it turned out, a very tough challenge. And there <laughs> is quite a lot of frustration on my end, which might make for entertaining content, but there's also a lot of swearing. So if you're not into that, skip this video. All right, the challenge this week is the five in one. You, Admirals, will design one ship of any class which will fight five rounds against the British Navy. Triumph will solidify your nation's navy as the rulers of the seven seas, while failure will result most likely in dishonorable discharge or even execution. This is not to say, sorry, this is not easy as you're also competing against the other Admirals to see who can do this challenge better overall. Scoring is simple. Every round you pass, you get a point. Scoring will be decided on round five. Your ship? Well, any nation, 1925, um, you may pick any type of ship you want, any class. You may not look at the enemy ships beforehand, and the enemy ships are going to be 1925 of shared design, as linked in the Discord that we have. Click through each round as you progress through them. Now, I'm first going to design the ship, um, and then I'll click this. I don't want to know what round one is, I don't know what the enemies are going to be. I'm just going to have to design a ship. Now, this seems to have been a week for me where everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, including recording. The ship that I designed, and I recorded the whole design process, but my mic wasn't working, is the Alsash. She's a battlecruiser. I picked a battlecruiser class because I think it's the most versatile. It is a ship that's capable of dealing with threats big and small. And as such, I think it has the most versatility against all sorts of threats. There are five ship designs shared. We might have to take on five ship designs, which, of course, by this point, as I'm recording this, um, at the final part, like beyond all the battles that I've done, I know. Um, I haven't tinkered with the ship since. This is the Alsace. 33,000 tons, moving at 32 knots. Range is a bit excessive. Bulkheads max, beam standard, draft standard. Veteran crew, of course, if you can, go for it. Turbo electric drive. And as such, the ship is supposedly, on paper, has really good acceleration. In practice, it doesn't, because the game just somehow treats this different. When it comes to armor, we have the best that 1925 has to offer. We got Krupp 5, Barbettes, some anti torpedo protection, some double hull bottom, reinforced and Citadel 5. Now, then firepower. Let's have a look. I have these 11.9 inch guns. I picked these because the 11s are Mark IV. These are Mark III. A Mark IV of a smaller caliber is generally better than a Mark III of a bigger caliber. And if I take a Mark IV and I make from an 11 point or 11 inch gun an 11.9, you get a turret like this and a gun that is capable of throwing out a shell, or rather three shells, every 51 seconds. Capable of going uh, up against decent amounts of armor, and I have HE for the times that that does not work. Auto loaders, electrohydraulic turrets, uh, we have sonar 1 in case torpedoes become an issue. Coincidence rangefinder for just better base accuracy. RDF in case I need to spot targets. And the ship has basically as much armor as I could tack on. So we've got maxed out armor belt at 10.2 inches plus 148. So that's about 25 inches of armor right there. 7 inch 4, 7 aft, 4 inch main deck, 2 inch 4 and 2.2 aft. These are the weaknesses. If this ship finds that she takes plunging fire, she's going to be in a lot of trouble. Conning tower, heavily armored, maxed out. See, even the superstructure is maxed out. So, small arms fire, like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inch, should not be as much of an issue. Unless you spam HE, of course, in which case your superstructure armor means absolutely nothing. Now, when it comes to the main guns, we've got the 11.9s with maximum barrel length addition. And I have a couple of 3.9 inch guns as secondaries. Um, these started out as 3 inches, upgraded to 3.9s and a 15% barrel length. Making them an okay threat for about 5 kilometer range. Because while it says on paper that they can reach out to 10 kilometers, I rather doubt that at 10 kilometers they'll actually hit anything. So that's the ship. And now it's on to task number 1. So task number one, you have one hour of in-game time to sink one battleship, HMS Jupiter, with your ship. Optional challenge is clear weather, day, 20 kilometers out. Okay, let's go.
All right, game settings. Clear weather, daytime. I mean, of course, we're going to take on the extra challenge. And let's see if the Alsash can take on this mysterious Jupiter battle cruiser. Oh, sorry, battleship. British battleship. I don't know what the Jupiter's like. I have kind of blindly built a ship, and I hope that the Alsash can deal with it. Uh, to the north, you say. Ah, oh, hold on. There it is. What are you? What are you? Are well, you not that big? Oh, it's 1925. It could it could not have been a super battleship. Ooh, you're loud. 14.9 inch guns, 12, let's say just shy of sevens, and a couple of 5.1s. Best not to approach with anything smaller than a battle cruiser, probably. And I am kind of concerned about those main guns of hers. Plunging fire right through the vulnerable deck armor on this ship. I foresee that as a problem. And I don't like it. Good accuracy there. 50%. Can these semi-ballistic shells pen their deck? Oh yeah. And then some. Flooding? That's impressive. Now the ship has basically disqualified her own main battery on the bow because of her angle. So she's firing with half her firepower and I'm using all of mine. Whoa! These shells, though. It's 20 kilometer range. We're plunging right through the deck. 12 inches of armor pen. Yeah, you can't stop that. I mean, this deck surely can't stop that. Another big pen. 14... Oh, sorry, 1140. So far, Alsace is performing beautifully. Let's slow her down. Get some crew speed bonus. Oh boy, don't hit me. Nice. Five hits out of a salvo of nine. And the British ship seems to be badly flooding. Soon, she's probably going to be listing so much that her main guns can't fire. She's like, what, 35 to 40% buoyancy? She's having a really rough time. Somehow the Alsace reset her accuracy? Why is that? It's like she... She went back from 60% to 16? It's not because of recoil, because recoil generally gets dissipated pretty quick. I haven't seen the Jupiter fire in a while. Maybe she's gone quiet because of her list. That would be ideal. Never mind. Never mind. Ooh. 16 click. How are you still shooting? I don't appreciate this level of treatment. Come on. Put that thing out of its misery. That's more like it. Generally, 5 inchers and 6 inchers tend to be armored. So trying to use HE and melt down their secondary armament is probably not going to work. Ow. Right through the main belt? Excuse me, the main belt is really thick on this ship. Yeah, but not thick enough. Ow. Don't get greedy. Let the Alsash do the job. <clears throat> Let the guns work for a while. No need to rush. Oh! That was painful. That's 50% damage and stability now. I'm surprised she's still able to do damage. There's another 1000 damage in return. Change course a bit. Hit him again. Ooh! 3,000 points of damage. Can you just like flood like you were working on? Ow. 
Jesus, I took a lot of damage here. All my secondaries are dead. How are you so damn accurate? Maximum bulkhead, spacious crew quarters. Jeez. Aren't you supposed to be listing badly and half dead? You are listing badly. You are half dead, but not good enough. Jeez, I'm, I'm really happy that we solved the flooding, because that was 19% buoyancy now. 20 kilometer range. Their chance to hit is about 3%. That got a little too exciting there, as she started taking 3,000 points of damage per hit. Yeah, I know the ship is listing, but could you, like, even try and put the main guns on target? You're not even pointing in that direction. Come on. The battleship can still fire, but I can't. Come on. It's like my guns are stuck. You see them just slightly rotating? Yeah, let's add 15 more hulls to the game. And not fix the fucking gun bugs. Good lord. Hard over to starboard. If we cannot turn the guns, we're gonna turn the ship. I swear there's something wrong with this ship. And I don't mean it's listing. The guns are trying to get on target, but they just... don't? This is... oh, now you're shooting. And I don't care for any... <clears throat> Uh, let's say, in-game explanations of, oh, well, the ship is listing so badly, the turret mechanics don't work anymore. The game doesn't have that mechanic. The game should just do what the game normally does, which is when there's an enemy at, I don't know, 12 o'clock, you point your guns 12 o'clock, and you try and hit the damn target. I understand that they're not turning now, because now we don't even know what to shoot. Well, that was fun. If the fucking guns would actually point to the target, I could have won this. But the Alsarsh died miserably because the guns refused to point at the target. The other ship, listing just as badly as I am, did not have this issue. Oh, I really feel like the game fucked me over here, and I'm really pissed off about it. Okay, let's see if I can do better in the next round. So, the next round. Round two. You have 30 minutes of in-game time to sink one battle cruiser and one heavy cruiser. It's the HMS Enterprise and the HMS Amphitrite with one of your ships. Optional challenge. Cloudy weather. Evening. 16 clicks. Okay. Um, evening. 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 Cloudy weather. So we're going to take down a battle cruiser and a heavy cruiser at 16,000 meter range. Let's hope that the guns actually are interested in cooperating today and that we can get this challenge to work. So what are these? And should I fear them? That is one big battle cruiser. That looked like it had a lot of guns. Guns of different barrels. What? What? <laughs> okay. Now, with this evening situation, accuracy is going to be a bit of a problem. So we're going to have to close the distance. And I only have half an hour. So I have to do this fairly quickly. So what's your deal? What the fuck is that? That looks like something I would design. 
This thing has all the 11 inchers. Like 12 on the bow and 12 on the stern. This is scary. Right now it can only use bow turrets. But this thing... Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. It's scary, but it has zero chance to pen me? How do you figure that? I can pen that. Okay, it's time to fight dirty. High explosive armor. Or high explosive uh, shells. We're closing the distance quickly, which could be bad news for me. Because I don't know if my armor is going to be able to stand up to all that firepower at shorter ranges. Burn them to the ground. Two fire set. Ten kilometer range. What's the heavy cruiser like? That's a really big set of guns for the heavy cruiser. That's basically ten inch. They got a lot of them. So they got seven on the bow and seven on the stern. That's a lot of firepower. Serious amounts of firepower. Turn the ship around. Eliminate the battle... Or sorry, the heavy cruiser. Not the battle cruiser. Eliminate the heavy cruiser. Partial pen only? Really? Oh boy. Oh boy. Now we're firing our stern only. If only the mains would want to work on two different targets. Turn. Come on. Couple fires. I'm gonna play very, very, very dirty. Tonight you're gonna break your one rule. I'm considering it. Because I'm really salty after round one. The game fucked me over so badly, I'm gonna fuck it right back. Bring all the high explosive and torch this thing. Here's another nine high explosive shells. Have fun with it. That's nine fires aboard that heavy cruiser. And we're gonna do that again in about 50 seconds. We've got 20 minutes of in game time left. That's another seven fires. I really wonder how long they can keep this up. I think Alsash can keep up the punishment for a while. Oh shit, the BC disappeared. Six more fires. There's the BC again. 87% ID. 89, 90. Their battle control, sorry, their damage control capabilities are impressive. Lesser ships would have been completely burned down by now. It looks like it's a bit of a wreck, but it's still very much functional. Yeah, we put most of the ship on fire every time, but it's not good enough. How much armor do you have? 4-inch four 4-belt, four plus 148%. Chance to pen? Essentially none. Chance of you to pen me? None. So we're gonna be here a while, and that's exactly the problem. I do not have time. I do not have time for this. But I think the best chance is still to burn this thing down. Come on. Their damage control is not even hampered by their crew loss. Fifteen minutes left. We're gonna have to play really aggressively now. I cannot kite. I don't have time. Three more fires. One of their guns has been knocked out. Switch to armor piercing. 
see if we can pen this. Because our ricochet chance is really low. And this ship has already taken a beating. Destroyed a main gun. That's the same one. Angle a bit. Get that stern gun involved. I need all the DPS from this ship right now. That's more like it. She's starting to flood in like four or five compartments. Take her out. Now. And then maybe in 12 minutes I can still take down a battlecruiser. Quickly! That was bad. Ship's half flooded, but not well enough. My ship is starting to burn, and I have 20% crew loss. Because I'm taking a ton of impacts. Come on. One big murderous salvo. We're not penning that belt. We're not getting through. Come on. Come on. That's more like it. She's flooding again. Well, Sasha's lost 26% of her crew and I only have 10 minutes left. Come on. Push it. That did nothing. Ooh. Damage is really starting to add up now. 32% crew loss. My ship cannot take this beating. Amphitrite needs to go down. 34% crew loss. 35. Die, damn you. Come on! No, we're not dealing any kind of damage. I need bigger guns. Ow. 38% crew loss. My damage control is awful now. Jesus, this cruiser is like made out of titanium. It just refuses to sink. 9% buoyancy. 39% crew lost on the Alsace. Fuck you. There we go. Alright. Um, take down the battle cruiser. You got six minutes. Your time starts now. <clears throat> this is gonna be fun. And impossible. Destroyed main... You destroyed both my turrets? Well, that's nasty. Okay. So this is when we flash fire the Enterprise and all of her turrets pop off, yes? Probably not. Jesus. 44% crew loss. 44-7, 44-9. Ship surrendered. Uh -huh. What a great round two. Fantastic. So that is two rounds that I completely failed. Let's see about round three. You have 20 minutes of in-game time to sink two light cruisers with one of your ship. Optional, cloudy weather, night... Night? Night. <laughs> okay. Uh, night, 10 kilometers. I think I have a chance here, depending on how well or how poorly HMS Blonde is built. Let's have a look. Here goes. One battle cruiser, two light cruisers, 1925, 10,000 meter distance, cloudy night time. I hope I can spot this thing in time. And I don't know. What I do know is that my shells are probably going to be really suitable for this particular target. If I can get there in time. The enemy's to the north. Fuck's sake, we need to turn around. I don't have the time. I need to get there now. We got 20 minutes of in-game time. Considering we're going from battleship to killing a battle cruiser and a heavy to taking down two light cruisers, I think the next challenge is going to be to eliminate DDs. Hello. Could you stop concealing yourself? 
and stop murdering my ship before I even can spot you. That'd be lovely. Five kilometers and I can't see them? This is bad. Hello. Holy mother of God. This is insane. 42 six inch guns? I'm at risk of getting burned down. Nay, I am getting burned down. 10% crew loss, but I think the ship is going to have an extensive overwhelm very quickly. I need to eliminate this thing yesterday. And I need to... Oh, fuck's sake. So that was round three. Nice. On to round four, shall we? Round four. You have ten minutes of in-game time to sink at least 50% of six destroyers. HMS Truant with one of your ship. Optional challenge. Stormy weather night. What? Oh my god. Ten minutes of in-game time. I'll be lucky if I see the bastards. Okay. 50% of six DDs. Here we go. This is going to get potentially even worse than the battle that I just did. Stormy nighttime, 3,000 meters, 1925. I'm going to be inside of their torpedo range in a heartbeat. Instantly. I am going to be so fucked over by these DDs. Like, this is not going to be pleasant. I hope my little 3 inches can do something useful. 3.9s, that is. Everybody, throw out high explosive. Show me what this thing looks like. Holy fucking hell. What is wrong with you? Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. What the fuck? Two, five, eight, eleven... 14, 17, 20, 23 torpedo tubes on a fucking destroyer? And it has one measly 1.1 inch gun because it had to have a gun or they wouldn't let you leave port. So I'm going to be hit with six DDs that are throwing out about 120 torpedoes. Fucking hell. Oh, wow, I hit it. And I have 10 minutes of in-game time. Jesus. If these DDs just run away, they'll... <laughs> they'll make it completely impossible. I can't catch them. Oh, Jesus, there's one. Where there's one, there's probably 15 more. Oh, God. Keep turning and burning because we're going to have to try and throw off any torpedo solution that they might have had. Seven minutes of in-game time left. Hard to port. Current speed, like what? 20, yeah, 25 knots. She's not losing a whole lot of speed as she's maneuvering. Oh, there's one. Shoot to kill. One and a half clicks out is what it took... Uh, is what it took for me to shoot this thing. To spot it, actually. There's one. There's two. Oh god, they're gonna launch the other side. No! All back emergency. Stop this thing. Now. Oh. Head full. Bend over. Fast. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, four torpedoes. So far. Six. Ugh. Destroyed him. You destroyed their main gun. Are you memeing me? The ship has taken 11 torpedo hits. 
And I thought, yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll probably not need a whole lot of torpedo protection. How wrong was that? Now, my guns reload in 50 seconds. Um, I, <laughs> I have about six salvos left. Jesus, could you not miss the ship when it's 500 meters out? Bloody hell. Sorry about all the ranting, but I'm normally actually dealing some damage to my targets. And I'm, so far, losing every single round. Switch to the Minos. And just ram anything that happens to get close. That's a bit of damage. What? You just shrug that off? Five minutes left. We appear to have a destroyer stuck on our side. Come on. Truculent, Minos, Stronghold, Falknor. This ship. This ship. Ah! Something exploded. Can I get more explosions, please? All their torpedo launchers are dead? That's impressive. Wow! We killed one! We actually took one out! Stronghold. 1.1 inch armor belt, plus 130% everywhere. Ah, oh, now this ship is listing too much. No, I can't turn the guns. Yeah, I swear the guns are stuck again. They don't even bother to try. And my 3.9s are pointing up at the sky. Trying to defend against aircraft which don't exist. Oh! Come on. Oh, Jesus, not like that. I was gonna say have at it, but not like that. Fuck! 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 Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fucking bugger! 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 Buggity! 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 Fuck! Fuck! Ass! So, that is four rounds that I have completely messed up. Awesome. How many torpedoes did I take in the end? All of them? 20 torpedo hits. Cool. So far, so good. Round five. You must sink as many battleships, as many ships of two battleships, two battlecruisers, two heavies, four lights, and 12 DDs with 10 of your own. Whoever sinks the most ships will be scored higher with the time taken in-game used as tiebreaker. Optional challenge, rainy weather morning, 18 clicks. I am not going to take on the optional challenge right now. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> 10 of my ships. Let's see if 10 of these Alsaces can actually deal a respectable amount of damage before they inevitably go down. Okay, here goes. 18,000 meter range. I did take that. I'm not sure what the other range is supposed to be. Uh, 10 of my battlecruisers against them. Begin. The Alsace is going to sail one last time. But I sure will have a lot of them. So maybe, maybe, maybe I can get like a point here? I don't know. We'll see. Well, shit. I forgot to take the thing off of night battle mode. What are you? An idiot sandwich. So we are in stormy nighttime. 18 kilometers away from death. Because now they have 12 destroyers. Right? So that's well over 250 torpedoes that are coming at me. I am so dead. Who's leading this whole party? The Alma. Okay, you. Targets, north. At this point, this is turning into one enormous failure video anyway. Why not? Do I have any super speedy battle cruisers? 14 knots, 25, 3, 20.4, 24, 24, 24, 24. Okay, good. What a challenge this week has been. It feels like it's one big exercise in sadism at this point. Uh, Alma, I need you to slow down a touch to allow the rest of your task force to catch up.
I'm pretty much going to ram 10 battlecruisers down their throat and see what happens. I expect the Ulma to take all the torpedoes. And then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> and I think the plan is about to be put to the test. As we have targets. Fairly close. But where? Oh god, they're here! That's a DD? Or something? Like, this is one enormous smoke. There's... Point at their flashes, I guess? Just hope that you... Yeah, I don't know. Hope's not a strategy, but... <clears throat> at this point... I don't really have a whole lot of other strategies. I think the Alma is toast. She's already taken two torpedoes for 4,000 points of damage. She's burning, flooding, lost 15% of her crew. There's a dud torp. Wow. Oh god. That's a lot of torps. Every man for himself. We're going to switch to something that should resemble line of breast. So that every ship is going to be trying to aid the others as much as possible. The Montcalm just took a torp. Two torps, actually. I've done some damage to ships, but I don't believe I've done a substantial amount to get a kill yet. Have we even seen the CLs yet? Oh yeah, we have. That's the CL from hell. Yeah, the Perseus. Okay, so that's one battlecruiser down. Lovely. Montcalm is about to get fucked over as well. I'm not even sure what we're shooting. Because I still cannot see any targets. Supposedly they're two and a half clicks out, but... I have no idea what I'm trying to hit. I think the Jean Bart's gonna get hosed down with high explosive. Something died! Cool. Something died. I think the Triumph is gonna die next. Hello, Perseus. Triumph is down. Perseus. Eliminate that thing. Like, at least make it look like you're trying to land a hit. This nighttime battle is awful. You cannot. You just cannot control a fleet like this. Especially in a large fleet encounter where I have 10 ships and they have <laughs> about double that. We've somehow done 20,000 points of damage, but I'm not sure how. It's like we see a flash of a ship immediately take a couple of shots at it and hit something that happens to be in the way. Like Perseus over here. I'm gonna lose every single ship. And the worst part is, I think this is a pretty good design. It's just that all the others are extreme versions. Like this battle cruiser with all its 11 inchers, or the CL from hell, or the destroyers from, I don't know, the seventh circle of hell. These, they're like meme versions of the ship. And I don't think a battleship, there she goes, would have done any better. Maybe because it has more secondary guns, potentially. But beyond that, she'd just be even a bigger target for torpedoes. We've taken 41,000 points of damage. Somehow we've only taken six torps. It's actually pretty low, considering. There goes Victoire. <clears throat> Not such a Victoire for you. I've lost one, two, three, four, five, seven ships. I only have three left. Just make it quick. Like guillotine these things in proper French fashion. And maybe we can take down accidentally a second ship. 
I really hope that the other guys are going to do as poorly as I am. Because this is just... There goes the senior. This is just ridiculous. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah, there's the Enterprise. Espérance de Dieu. Well, I don't think God's hope is uh, <laughs> anywhere to be seen. There goes the Espérance. And now it's the time for the lead ship of the class, the Alsace, to meet her demise. That was fast. Wow. I took down one ship. Between ten battle cruisers, I took down one ship. I have never done this bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have never done this bad in a single challenge. Uh, I've lost challenges plenty. I've had ships sunk on me, but never, ever something like this. Like the battle cruisers were. I don't know, they were pretty balanced ships. They had a good amount of armament, they had good maneuverability, good armor. They had maxed out armor, even. And then they came up against something like this. The DD from Hell. The over-the-top light cruiser with all of her 16... or Sorry, 6.4 inch guns, but 42 of them. Uh, the heavy cruiser... What was their specialty? Oh yeah, really big guns, but a lot of them. The 16... 14 of those 9.9s. Uh, the battle cruiser was with all those 11 inchers, and then the battleship. Well, I think this is the most normal ship of the bunch, kind of, but still. I hope you've been entertained, anyway. I hope you have been entertained. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and, um, well, pretty much like I say every week, I'll try to do better next time, but it's not going to be difficult next week, because this week was shit. <laughs> Absolute dog shit. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.